Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to define loads and how to apply loads on this concrete slab. Basically, in my first video, I explained how to define this concrete slab control with opening. Also, how to define slab properties as well how to define supports. Now in this video, as I said, I will show how to define loads, how to apply loads. So let's start from here, load types. First number, it is showing dead load one. So click add to add it in the list of defined cases. This dead load one, it is nothing but self weight. And this weight or this load, it is calculated by software itself. Even if it is needed to add superimposed dead load, then I can add here dead load two. But right now for this one, I am taking only the light loads in three forms. Say I put light load, I will take three types of live load. Say live load one, live load two, live load three. Because this live load one, it will be uniform planar load. Live load two will be linear load. Live load three will be uniform planar load on contour. So let's close this. So select here live load one. Load definitions. Surface. Go for uniform planar load. Say I am taking here 4.5. It is negative because direction will be down opposite of this z direction. Add it. By touching this slab, I can add the loads or I can put this number one here. So apply it. So I got the loads. Now this 4.5, we call it as load value descriptions. See this one, if you click here, it will disappear. If you click again, it will appear. Now we have to go for live load 2. What is that? This one. Linear load. Linear load 2P. Let's click on. Say here I am taking as 5 and also taking as 5. So 5, 5 it means P1 and P2 as you can see it here. P1 and P2. This is linear loads. As well, we need at these two points, A and B, we need coordinates, point coordinates. Say, already I kept it before 2 and minus 4. This point is here somewhere. 2 and 4. This is one point. If you like, you can change it. Instead 4, you can write 3. Instead 2, you can write 1 or 3, whatever. Automatically, it will come here. But I am choosing this 2 and 4. And second point somewhere here, it will be 2 and 4. This is 2 minus 4. This is 2, 4. These are the two point coordinates of A and B. Now, if I add it, Look at already it is here now. This is minus 5. Now I am going for say this one as I said uniform planar load on contour. Click here. Also I need to change this because already LL2 is here. It will be for LL3, third one. Third one means, 
say I am taking here 6 and contour definitions say I will put somewhere here. So I need 4 point coordinates. So what I will do say first I am taking this one 4 0 minus 4 0 I got it. Again another point I am taking here as minus 4 2 got it. Now 1 and 2 now I need here 1 point. So minus 6 2 say here I will go for the minus 6 2 add it. Again minus 6 0 add it. So four point coordinate I got surely it will be somewhere here. So add it and make sure it is with LL3. See I got it. Now we are done in load definitions. Close it. Now let's do something different. It is called to generate manual combination of the loads. So how to do that? Say loads, manual combinations. This is combination number 5, leave like that because it is coming according to serial of the load. Already we have 4 up to here, so, so it is 5. Leave this ULS combination 1, so press OK. Got it. Now here I need only live load. Click on live. So here only live loads. As well, for live load, I need this factor definition to be changed. How to say live load? I need say 5. Change it. Live load changed. Close it. Automatically, this one will be changed. See? 1.5. Now, if I click here, to bring this on this right hand side list of cases in combinations as well with this factor. So I got it. This is for combination one. Apply it. Got it. Now let's go for the new combinations. So click on new. Think of this will be as it is only combination type this one I will put it SLS press OK now this factor leave as it is one because this is SLS now these three click here bring it to the right list of cases in combinations so we got combination 2 also. So we are here. Apply. So we are done in generating manual combinations. Close it. If you look at here, you see dead load 1, live load 1, 2, 3, combination 1 and combination 2. If I put here combination 1, it looks like that. Say if I click here, you see, all loads appears here. This is actually combination 1. If I bring here combination 2, that load will be here as combination 2. So I think we are done for this video. 
so that's all for this video in the third video i shall show how to run an analysis and explore the results